What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and today I'm extremely excited to announce my new advanced Balkan Arctic course. Now the topic of this course is going to be template creation. Now a year or so ago uh, I created a course on creating a template in Revit but that was uh, just a quick one hour course. I didn't really cover all of the settings that you might want to set and I think that something like creating a template takes a bit more time and a bit more things to consider. Uh, when it comes uh, to creating something uh, as complex as a Revit template. Now, of course, you can use one of the existing templates, uh, but I think it's really useful to have a, a template that's really catered towards your needs uh, or the needs of the company that you work for or something like that, just because it saves you so much time when you start working on a new project and when you open up a template and you have pretty much everything there, you can just start working, modeling, creating your own building, there are no settings to be set up, there are no elements to import, everything is already there and I show you how to set everything up. Now this is a 3 hour course or even longer, I think it's like 3 hours and 20 minutes or something like that. I pretty much cover all of the settings. Now I cover the settings in general uh, just because uh, I want to pretty much cover everything that you might want to set up. Now because uh, creating a template it's very specific, each project uh, or each company has very vastly different needs. So I really wanted to cover every single setting and that's what I do within this course. So uh, if you want to get this course it's going to be available on my Patreon, first link in the description. Uh, it's sort of a subscription based uh, or a subscription and then you can get access to all of my advanced courses I've got over 50 hours of content there so far or uh, you can get it as a standalone course or just as a one-time payment and you get lifetime access now that's going to be available uh, in a week or so uh, on my new teaching platform so stay tuned for that and of course link is going to be available in the description uh, for that as well as soon as uh, that site is up and running okay so uh, I think this is really exciting and now I'm just going to give you a rundown and just show you uh, everything that I talk about in this course. So let's head straight into Revit. Okay, so here we are in Revit and for this demonstration let's actually start from the back of the course. So towards the end of the course once we have created the template I show you how to set it up with one of those existing templates that Revit offers you on beginning. So here if I just go to models, uh, go to a new model or a new project under temple, uh, template file you're going to notice that here BA template or the Balkan Arctic template is going to be the first one that appears. So this is something that I show you uh, at the end of this course. Now if I just open this template up when it comes to creating this template, we're going to get started first by getting rid of elements that we don't need. Now, this is important uh, not only when you're creating templates, but whenever you're working on a project. Just cleaning it up and getting rid of all of those elements that you don't really need is really important, so I show you how to do that. Next, I show you how to import elements from existing projects. So I find an old project and then, then I just show you how to take only the elements that you like from that project and then transferring it into this one. Uh, after that, we set up the units. So once you want to uh, place something, the units are going to be exactly what you want them to be. Also, we set up the levels and also when I'm talking about levels, let's talk about the uh, all of the rest of the views and the whole project browser organization. So if I just expand this a little bit, you will notice that here under views, we have it categorized in both architecture and then interior design. Now I can expand both of these nodes. So for example, if you're working on a project where you have uh, multiple categories of the project or you have even multiple people working on a project, it's really nice to uh, kind of separate it up here in the project browser. So I show you how to set up some advanced organization. So here we have some architecture and then also we have some interior design uh, views set up over here. 
Uh, moving on, I show you how to play around with the visibility settings, both for a project level and then for each view independently. So first I show you how to set up the visibility and uh, the appearance of elements for the whole project, and then I show you how to set it up for each view. Now, uh, so you don't set it up for each view independently because that doesn't really make sense for templates. I actually uh, show you a really handle, uh, handy tip, which is here I show you how to create a new view template. And as you can see over here we have this technica, technical architecture floor plan view template that I created for this project. As you can see it changes the scale but I'm just going to go back here to the regular one. Uh, next I show you how to set up all of the fill patterns, lines, uh, half tone and underlay settings, tags, arrowheads and pretty much everything when it comes to all of those uh, fine little settings that make all the difference when it comes to setting up graphics for your project. Also, I talk about all of the families. So first I show you how to load in families that you actually want. Uh, both system families like uh, walls, uh, roofs, ceilings, floors, uh, and so on. And then also for component families like components, windows, doors, and etc. Now I also show you how to set up your new families. So here, for example, if I just go to uh, wall, you're going to notice that here we have a new curtain wall, this louver system. Also, I show you how to add walls that you want to use and also how to get rid of the ones that you don't want to use. And then uh, I show you pretty much the same thing for uh, the rest of these, for doors, windows, columns, roofs, ceilings, floors, and so on. Also here for the stairs, I show you how to uh, modify the monolithic stair just to set it up to some of my preferred uh, settings. And also I show you how to create this new uh, staircase type, and if I just go into 3D, this is what that looks like. This is really useful. I like to have it in my project. So that's what I, why I showed you how to do this as well. Uh, also, moving on, I show you how to set up all of the dimensions, uh, all of the dimension styles. Uh, also, I show you how to set up all of the profile families and so on. So both annotation families and model families, I show you how to set pretty much everything up. Uh, also, we talk about schedules. So if I scroll down a little bit here, we have schedules now. I've got two schedules. I've got project notes. This is where all of your notes that you take for this project will be categorized and I explain how that works. And then also here, I've got a room schedule. So whenever you start adding rooms here, you're going to have the number name, level, area, and the perimeter of each room, which is uh, really handy to have. And then finally, I just show you how to set everything up, do all of the fine tuning, and then finally how to save the template and load it in here with one of these uh, new templates or uh, templates that Revit offers you when you start off a new project. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this course. I think it's really exciting. As I said, it's a three hour course and it's available right now on my Patreon. Uh, you can uh, sign up right now. So just follow the first link in the description. And then later on, I will also be adding it up as a uh, like the uh, like an option as a one-time purchase, which will be available soon. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this little demonstration. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.